Hello, hello, good morning, and welcome to another Mass Effect stream. Another Mass Effect stream. So, uh, we are plan for today is we are probably going to be finishing up uh, Mass Effect One, and then uh, moving on to Mass Effect Two. Uh, figure why delay in getting the ball rolling on that one. Um. I'm sorry, I was a bit delayed starting today because uh, the computer was trying to install graphics cards, drivers, and all this other kinds of nonsense and make sure my solid state drive is okay because it was operating 100%, but actually it was just doing something. I'm very paranoid that my SSD will just die one day because I know they're relatively short lived and this has been in my computer for several years now, so. Um. <clears throat> All right, let's switch over. Boom. I've already uh, taken the liberty of losing up Dickhead Shepherd and becoming a Spectre to make sure the shops are all okay. Um, also, you will might notice, I've got the music back up a bit. Um, I realized I, I, like my first stream had a, a, a music claim on it. And I immediately assumed that it was the Mass Effect music, so I turned it down or turned it off essentially. Um, and then the second and third stream were fine. Fourth one also got a claim on it. And then when I went to look in, uh, both of them were for the music that I was using um, uh, for the stream. Neither of which had any real uh, claim because they're they're both. Uh, they're both songs that I took off of uh, the YouTube audio library uh, for for um, for royalty free stuff. They, and for some, and got, the problem is one of them got used in someone else's song, and they think I'm claiming I'm using their song, but I'm actually using the thing that they sourced, sourced it from. Um, but more importantly, neither of those claims were against Mass Effect music, and I have seen plenty of other streamers playing this game. With uh, no with no problem against the music whatsoever, but they just the music's cranked up. So I'm gonna I've got it at twenty percent. I'm gonna see how it is. It sounds fine to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, so we just unfortunately lost a squad mate on Vermeer after discovering that Saren's ship Sovereign is actually a Reaper and is the one that's could well be controlling Saren himself. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. I just realized that in the course of this game so far, you've lost uh, two people under your command. Technically three. Everyone's given, Everyone's talking about uh, Caden. No one's talking about the unnamed guard that was with him. And we de the ship definitely left. So they were definitely there and they definitely didn't come back alive. So they're definitely dead <laughs> and no one cares. Oh, shit, I was coming to speak to Caden. Well. Uh, so yeah, I made this decision to go for Caden. A lot of people pick Caden, um, but apparent, um, I've actually had Caden al alive a lot in my playthroughs, and to the point where I'm actually not too familiar with Ashley. I only have had Ashley alive once on a full playthrough where I was a renegade male shepherd. Um, so I figured I might as well see what Ashley's like, uh, for a fam ship. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yeah, you because you faint better. every three seconds. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's probably worried that you are a freaking hypochondriac or something. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. 
He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. It is a bit of a shame. Um, if you think about it. I mean, the guy has no like free will of his own anymore. He may have had good intentions. Siren may once, at one time, been a good guy. But, um, he was brainwashed, I think. It's not even brain... It's, it's more than brainwashing, because it's more subtle. It's just like... It's kind of like, I don't know, in, in Inception, it, it, it changes the core of your ideals subtly. And you're a bit more complicit. By the way, something I have done off camera is I have uh, sorted through all my equipment. Uh, and... Well, a lot of it. But I can't do all of it. Um... Because we're at our money limit. And so if I sell more, it, there is actually a limit on the money. Looking for supplies? If I try and sell more... Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Uh, I won't get anything for it at all. Uh, and there's, we still haven't got our level 10 versions of these yet, which is a real shame. Um, what's that one like? Oh, no, that's rubbish. It might just primarily be because we're at level 28 and we're not at uh, level 30 yet. We're, we're bloody close, though. I'm wondering if we're going to make it to 30. I don't know if we are. Um... Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you for being understanding, I appreciate understanding, what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. About Lieutenant Alenko, how are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. All your fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you... Don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. 
Yeah. Just like Jenkins. I guess that's all we can do. And unnamed soldier like one. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. And surprise! We have the Solarians. This, well, it was left as a the Solarian STG team. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. So, so yeah, most looks like most of Karahi's team died because we fought at least a dozen. Uh, it might even been about like eighteen of eighteen Solarians that were indoctrinated, and if that was half of his men, he came with thirty-six men. And he's come back with six. That is rough. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Uh, he's got nothing. It is a bit... The one thing I would say is about that decision, It doesn't. what it doesn't really highlight is that if you choose to go back for the person who's at the bomb, then Kirihi dies carry he and his team die with the other squad mates so that's another reason why the decision of who you send with Kirihi's team is actually more important than who you rescue because if you want let's say you wanted Ashley right and you sent Ashley to the bomb and then you spent Caden with the team but then when it came to the choice of you you save Caden or Ashley and you chose Ashley then Kirihi's team will die with Caden so Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For every wow. And I've been thinking about Doug. I re he escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Words mean well, if the people I'm sworn to protect can't. I'm glad you don't see worry, it. Commander. Garrus, I think at this point, Garrus has like nothing new to say. Um, and I think Tally doesn't really. Hey, Shepard, you need something? Yeah, Tally doesn't. I should go. <laughs> see you later. No one has anything to say about Caden. Oh well. I have to say, to be perfectly honest, like in terms of squad mates, the human squad mates across the fra the uh, the Mass Effect franchise, for the most part, are not all that interesting. There is at least one interesting one in two. And I think that's it. The humans are kind of boring and dull and stuff, and that's good. That's a good thing. Because also, like, the human squad mates in Andromeda are just fucking awful. Um, I mean, there's a lot of problems with Andromeda anyway, but... Um, Andromeda, you always, I'll say one thing about Andromeda, it's not too bad, it's just there's so much to do. Like, they, they have like so many different like systems in it. There's like a weapon crafting system that is irreversible, which is dumb. Um, there is like uh, an Assassin's Creed Brotherhood sending out people on missions thing. Which gets you more like resources that do fuck all. Um, and it's like bringing back... It just feels a bit weird. They changed too much of it. Also, it's like, oh yeah, that whole class thing that limited your play in all the Mass Effects, let's just undo that and make it so that you're some kind of weird super soldier. Yeah, fuck it. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. About time. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am.
Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Wow, praise from Medina. The Ambassador is nice. correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. What? I'm sorry, shouldn't those patrols be there already? You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Well, that's a massive assumption. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. We... Oh. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Oh, you son of a bitch. Are you insane? Oh, she After said that. everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me. But they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Get me out of this pity squat. There we go. Awkward staring. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. Okay, I will be back for you. No, you're coming with. Equalizing interior pressure Open with the exterior Open atmosphere. The Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. 
Now we haven't actually been back to the Citadel in a while, so it might be worth just having a little look around. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I should probably check the uh, Liara. Do we have any armor for you? Um, increase of 50, also 14. That stuff is actually a bit better. And it looks identical. So, all right. Then uh, do you have a better ramp for you? Just a duration one. Uh, we've got squad points to dole out, apparently. There you go. Now you can have a super fast singularity. Okay, first place we're going to check is this shop down here. Hello, Commander. <gasps> oh, oh, here we go. Shit is fucking dope. All right, this is, these are now the best weapons in the game and they're finally available to us. I don't know why my core master didn't have these, but all right. In fact, maybe it's at the bottom here. Nope. Maybe I thought maybe there was a license I needed to get. All right, let's uh, let's get a full set. So we'll get that one, that one, that one, and that one, and then. We'll just sell enough junk to... Oh, wow. This stuff... I didn't realise I had such low-level stuff. What's going on with this? I don't want to just blindly sell all the junk stuff. If we're lucky and we go back to uh, the quartermaster, they might on the ship. When we go back on, he might have restocked. And we can get a second set. That would be dope. Uh, okay, so that's up to almost our max again. Um, don't need that or this. Uh, now into that one. Nope. Not get rid. Nope. Don't need. Nope. Rubbish, useless, pointless, never need, sentimental value, uh, no. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. So there was another predator armor up here. Okay, if I could start by armor. Uh, don't need all these harpoons or these punishers. Boom. Okay, so. It doesn't look that much better, especially when you look at some of these other guns. And they have made changes to the guns in this game. 
bit of fires quickly, so that's good. Uh, how about the sniper? I did buy a sniper. Where is it? There it is. So, wow, I can fire that and it will not go over heat. It's slow fire. Might as well just give us, ev give us everything. Here's a shotgun. Shotgun is pretty decent fire rate, a very uniform spread. So I can fire that gun indefinitely. Um, which makes me wonder if I actually need this frictionless materials. Um... I'm just about to put a kinetic coil. In fact, what does a kinetic coil do? Suppose seven percent and stability. All right. Hmm. Let's slap a real extension on. Jesus Christ! This thing. Minus 10%. So what I actually might want to... Wow. I might want to get a, like, a scavenger scram rail off of someone and slap it on him. So I'll slap it on this gun. Uh, or switch to infernal rounds. What, what is this thing with like with infernal rounds? Or fuck it. Let's put, let's put, for, just for fun. And put some frictionless back on. Mm. We could have some fun with that. I don't know how, how, how much of an extra damage, 28% damage. It's a lot of force, so it will knock people down. This actually might be pretty decent. I don't tend to use each the like, high explosive rounds that much. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Presidium technicians oh, are weird. struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction or even what the system was originally to designed to faster. do. It was more for fun. is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. What I used to do was I used to put it on a sniper rifle and, it, and basically it would overheat every shot. It would make it fire much more slowly, but I used it to take out turrets and things. That's back when I was uh, taking out stuff on foot. Alright, so another little jaunt around the Citadel. I don't... Re there. I remember there is no stuff to do on the Citadel, but I don't remember what. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Michael Ironside have anything else to say? Shepard, what can I do for you now? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. See ya, Michael. I didn't think you in here. How are you doing, bitch? Thank you for all your help, Shepard. No problem, bitch. We'll go. We'll see if we can get some better armor. Might as well. We, we we literally have spare money in the form of guns, so we could afford to buy a bunch of stuff. 
and uh, <clears throat> sell a bunch of the extra guns we got just to get back up and even then we still have enough to get money to get more of the top tier guns if they're available in the Normandy. Races herald the glory of the Enkindlers who raised them all to enlighten. Where there was only darkness, the Enkindlers gave light. I don't think there's anything up on the Presidium. Strange. The sheer size of this place is overwhelming. It's just Barlavon in there. I don't think he's got anything. Well, let's check in with him. I don't think he's got anything new. But greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres. Yes. It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. Some <laughs> of them want to see you fail. I, however, wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? I should go. As some other of your people Goodbye, have already Commander. said, the Volas do not really want to be on the Council because there's an obligation for council bases to like put in a large chunk of the military and up the military and stuff which the Volus just can't do. They're a subsidiary of the Turians, I believe. Commander, it is good to see you again. Show me your eyes. They're not a subsidiary. Like I'm like a vassal or just like a friendly oh, this ally. One is pleased right, let's have a look at the upgrades because they're always shit. Wow, they're really shit. Why do you even have this shot? Look at the standard items, no licenses, because I think we may have bought them all. Uh, God, this is all shite. Wait, oh. Command. Show me your items. Wait a minute. I was sorting the wrong way. It's still shite, but at least it's shite I can in the right order. Non human armors. Uh, I didn't. I think we, what we've got for him is better than that, so we'll just leave that be. So right, there's at least uh, two more shops that we can go to. Um, where's the terminal? Oh god, it's all the way over there. I'm not going to bother checking the ward access. Like the, there's a space over there. It's, it's it's between the presidium and the wards. So I think we'll just go. I'll start with the med clinic. See if they got any decent exoskeleton stuff. Which they do, they don't seem to have the top tier. She did at, at one time. She did. She had the top tier stuff. And we couldn't afford it, and then it it went away. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can... Let me take... Of course. Ugh. Nope. Just eight. Level eight. Oh, yeah. I've heard, um... If you're wanting to cheese the game and get infinite credits... Uh... Selling her stuff... And then buying back from the Volus over here... Is the way to do it. I don't see the need to do it. Excuse me! 
You're the Spectre, right? Uh, hi. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Alien appeasers? This is an alien station. What the fuck are you talking about? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Wait, you, you wouldn't me to run for Parliament? What? I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse well, me, are. I don't believe human politics are any of your business. They are when they affect other species. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Again? Well said, Liara. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. Except when it affects them. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like shan -Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of shan -Shi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. I appreciate that the game does, uh, like, have idiots like that in it like in the universe it's like Terra firma. it does uh, unfortunately and regretfully Aliens it does add realism to the game because there are just people like that all right so anderson's up there we're gonna just go along at the shops over here Welcome back, Earth Clan. Show me what you've got. You got anything good? No. God damn it. Yes, human, you need something, eh? Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Non human armors. Colossus. What's the Colossus like? Wow, the stats for those two are exactly the same. Okay, Warlord. Oh god, no, we've already got one better. Mantis, nope. Silverback, nope. Come on. Yes, These... human, you need something, yes? Maybe oh, we'll you find something pleased? useful and standard. Probably not. Oh god, what am I doing? Nope. It's all rubbish. It's all rubbish. Sorry, Liara, we're not gonna get you a nice green outfit. I love getting like the 
the team in all matching green because uh, this armor is the gives you the best sort of stats and I don't want everyone with it but unfortunately not the armor she's got is pretty decent but she also has a barrier she could slap on herself that will help out so Shut the fuck up. Uh, pardon me, soldier. Could I take a moment of your time? Jesus. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. Mm -hmm. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Mm. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarian stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant... No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this mm -hmm. is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. Oh. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. <sighs> What's up, Liara? Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk to each other. Have fun staring at that wall. Oh, hang on. Of course, we got since room flux, we got to do our daily. Yeah. Y yeah. Hey, Anderson. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. This is an unreasonably large table for only two chairs. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Mm-hmm. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. 
Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Yeah! Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Yeah, that's um, a, pr a really dumb idea. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Which would you choose? You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Yeah! Alright, just before I go, I'm going to double check the shop, because I don't know how often he gets staff. Hello, Commander. Shop. No, nothing yet. Damn it. Okay. Well, let's just hope that um, the Quartermaster has f stuff available. Because this is probably the last. You must welcome civilization after spending such a long time. It's the last time I, you're going to get to be able to shop in the no, Citadel. No, cities and stations were always my mother's area of comfort. I actually enjoy the solitude of dig sites. After seeing so many Asari come through the Citadel, I assumed your people preferred large cities. I apologize. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <laughs> Could have maybe, like, told him to leave. Or said you got a meet call somewhere. Oh, green button, go! Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker, now. Hmm. I remember that, her being a bit more urgent with that. We stole the ship. Can't believe we stole the Normandy. We I know did we'll it. all be court martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. We stole the ship. Aw, oh, damn it, no sign of pursuit. I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. 
I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? Nah. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just do an account. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow, is there 15 people up here? Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just counting for no reason. Just, just don't, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about why I'm counting, okay? It's okay. 16, 17. Mm -hmm. You're okay. So we're at 17. Let's remember 17. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you wow. want to okay, talk about? Okay, she didn't give a fuck that we go. just stole the ship. Goodbye, Shepard. She didn't give a fuck about Caden. She didn't give a fuck about uh, stealing the ship. What about you? It's strange, being a fugitive from the Alliance. Yep. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. Yeah, no fucking pressure. Cool. We're 17. All right, cool. 17. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I tapped out and did something by accident. 17. Okay, 17, 17, 18. 19, 20, 18. Let's just check in with you, actually. Looking for supplies? Uh, Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. <gasps> we did, we can get another set. Yes. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um... So who are we going to give that shit to? I am, um, let's dole it out well enough. So, Gar our finger final team that we're going to take to Ilos is going to be, it's going to be Garrus. And it's probably going to be Liara. Um, I know that it does more damage, but it fires slower. Because he, he definitely won't need that. Where, right, where do you mean? Take these scram reels off. Get, give me your scram reel here. Give me a kinetic coil. Cool. Uh. Ah, oh, Rex, buddy. You you can keep your scram reel. You're fine. Tally, tally though. Um, where's your shotgun? Um, no, you you can, you can take that. Where's your pistol? Oh fuck you. That's even worse. Um. Rex, here, as a gift for stealing your scram reel, how about this? I'm going to give you a Spectre shotgun. This thing is amazing. The reason I give you this, oh, but I'm, I, I might take your, I might, mm, no, you're fine. Um, Liara, you are going to get a Spectre pistol. Yeah. Um... No, you don't. Hang on, Snowblind. Do we have not have level ten Snowblind? Nope, just level nine. And that's the best scram mill you've got. Oh Jesus. Uh, no, I need a good one. And Jesus, get that up to ten. Okay, so. Uh. Let's try a full HE spread. 
We've got a spare scram wheel to shove in here. What is this one? That's 10. We can put a 9 in later. Okay. Actually, I wonder if I should give Garrus the HE stuff. Uh, we still have sniper rifle. Here, Garrus, you can have the Spectre sniper rifle. Um, and I give Tyler the shotgun. Cool. Hey, Ashley, what's Commander? up? Yeah, let's talk about the fact that we just stole a ship. Give a few minutes to talk, one on one. I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. <sighs> okay. We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI. Okay, we've, we've, talked, about, we've talked about this. I, but I, that's what pisses me off. Again, ma'am. She doesn't give a shit about stealing the Normandy. Why? Whereas if we speak to Garrus. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. After, after everything you told me, uh, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? <laughs> I would love to just say so long there. <laughs> compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. 18... So 1920, 21, you're fine. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. Ah, we're fine. We'll be fine. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. I should go. See you later. Let's see, what was it? 19, 20, 21. 21. Okay. 21. That's an important number, which I feel we need to remember. We need to remember 21. Why? Ah, no reason. All oh, right, we're going to clear our journal, which is completely empty except for the main mission. Fuck this codec. Codex or whatever. Boom. No, there's no, no important reason whatsoever. There's nothing important about it. It's fine. Just, you know, I like to know after I want to know how many like court just in case like it's gonna be a big court case a lot of court martials going on so I need to know how many crew I have and we're going to Ilos And there's a pressure color, pressure cooker atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and ethane. It's scorched hot surface. It's been like a There are several areas of debris that may be wreckage of downed Prothean aerostat colonies based on the size of the debris fields. A population of over 100,000 was likely. Hmm. This place is, is apparently rich in Prothean shit. Yep, there's a bunch of debris. This place used to be mined for heal er, hydrogen and helium. And then Ilos. The lost mysterious world of the Protheans. In the golden age of Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows there is no this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the colour of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Alright, let's go. Oh, okay. 
I may have to cut away for a minute. It really depends. Shepherd, may I speak with you? Sure. I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. I These am your could father. be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. <laughs> I want this to be special. You really do want me to cut away? Are you sure? We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. In a game of Uno. Just tell me what to do. Jesus, what's all this purple stink gas coming off? By the goddess, that was incredible, Shepard. Yay! You. We're incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, Achievement I get. just wanted to say thank you for everything. I noticed a couple of things there. One, well, I noticed that uh, they totally f fucked up in this remake a little bit. Because, uh... There was, there was something not there that was funny. Also, can you believe that that scene is what got this game high amounts of, of weird criticism for being a, a sex fueled incestuous alien game? But a lot of that criticism came from people who had never actually seen the fucking game. It was unreal. Uh, Commander, we've got company. Have the sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. Why does this ship not have meters? rope? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing Everyone zone. Everyone shout. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Joker. I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. Yeah! Go, let's go! Let's go for a post coital gun battle! Inside now. Oh shit, they kept his hat on. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Oh, he shut the door. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. 
We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. No, there's no like stat boost. It's just, it's, it's just like forming a relationship somewhere. Oh shit! Hi. It's just enrichment of story. That's all you get. There's no like plus two to bond or whatever. Um, let's see what the pistols. Eh, give me the pistol. Oh shit. Alright, I need someone else to shoot. I need to be able to see their fucking health bar. I'm conducting a test to see what ammunition I should be using. And I probably shouldn't be doing it by running out blindly at the enemies. <laughs> Making the uh, the enemies ragdoll is fun. I will say that. Uh, but okay, on the assault rifle is shit. Um, I don't know if the, if that's really worth it. Alright, snow blinds and that scram reel. That's what I wanted to try. Garrus, um, you don't need that if you're going to use a snow blind. So you can have. Actually, fuck it. You know what we'll do? You know what we'll do for you? You can have high explosive rounds. Yeah. And you know what, Liara? You can have high explosive rounds. Well, this is going to be interesting. Oh, fuck. Uh, alright, um... Overload that, please. Do I still not... Left the HE... Oh, well, yeah, I was trying to see if this was worth it. For the, for the pistol. Oh shit, there's two of these guys. Uh, uh. Fuck. Uh can I, will this work? Whoa! That was a game over. Yep. Okay, see when you embark on the final mission, probably not a good idea to start, like, tinkering with weapons and shit. Alright, we're back at the start of the fight, so let's... We don't want that. We want... What did I have for them? Uh... Snowblind and scram rail. Garrus. Try that. Yara. Try that. Because I don't know if their weapons are cooled like ours, if their weapons overheat. It never, it's never really shown. I think it is overheating them, so let's just change it. Uh, you can have snow blinds, Garrus. You can have Inferno.
Liara, stop shooting me in a fantastic way. Liara, would you fucking stop? Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, it, this will tell me if they're actually, if they overheat. Go on, shoot them. Shoot them. You were just shooting them. That's it. Bag them and tag them. Would you guys please shoot? Uh, I think I broke them. Oh, she took him out. <gasps> right. Sabotage is probably going to be very important here. Sabotage. Can you do anything? Just keep hitting barrier, I guess. In case the thing does shoot us, I might survive a shot. There's one. Alright, I think that's definitive. Liara, you're. Stop you with this stupid shit and instead. You can take Snowblind 10. There, okay? Maybe I'll actually shoot something. Take it off mine. is over here. Oh, hi! <laughs> I love just lifting them out of the map. Sure, let's go down here, see what's going on. How was that noise? Shit. Actually, it might be better with the assault rifle for this. Ow.
Why am I not using my biotics for this? Here, you get lifted and you get lifted. Try her with with infernal rings as well if we have it. And I'm gonna do the same with this. Have I used up all my inferno rounds? Shit. Well then, maybe we'll find some more. Or maybe I should just shut up and just play it. Was there actually anything here? Was it just that box? There's nothing here. There is actually nothing here. Oh, hi. Oh, you lived! Not for long. Armature control? What? Okay, I'm not sure what that did, but all right. Okay, this is where the two armatures were before. I guess, um, hmm. I'm guessing if I went down, that would have, like, given me their control. Shit. Okay, um, not that way, that's the way we, is this the way we came? This is the way we came. Let's drop a quick save, we haven't done that in a while. Bunch of enemies over there, but can't see them just yet. Look at the wonderful, mysterious, overgrown nature of Ilos and these fucking freaky statues.
Alright, Garrus, you let that wall have it. Yep. You go for it, Garrus. You keep shooting that wall, you'll eventually get through it. No, don't give up now. Don't give up now. You keep going. You fucking shoot. If you keep shooting through that wall, you'll eventually get to the enemy on the other side, I promise you. <sighs> Alright. I'll take care of it then. Hi guys! You lift me up, 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 up. Oh, I can't fucking sing, I don't know the words. Just shoot. This gun is so loud. Okay, we made absolute mincemeat out of everyone here. Um, there's a crate. Really not too much use for loot anymore. We've got almost the best stuff we can get. And even if we don't, there's not much, too much of an opportunity left in this game to... Sure, let's open this door. Oh wow, this place still has power. This is amazing. This place is over 50,000 years old and it still has power. That's impressive. Also, the, all the mechanics still work. We're being jammed. We're no longer being jammed. Why are we being jammed? We killed all the enemies. Nope. Oh, come on. Did it. Totally did it. Was there a reason to? Nope. That's all there was up here. It's just a bit of loot. Alright. Fuck it. We're going right here. Alright, let's hold this lead somewhere. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Down. Sh 
shoot. I'm gonna do something ballsy. Uh, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Get the fuck away from me. I need a barrier. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Fuck. Uh, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, okay. I was trying to do something. I couldn't see where it was though. Basically in that in this room there is uh, a repair station that gives you arm friendly armatures. I was trying to find it. It's one of these. There it is. Well, we got, yep, we got a friendly armature on our side. Just for shits and giggles. There's another. Let's secure this room so that no one can come in after us and undo the work that we're trying to do. Nice. Do the security panel thing. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Those armatures are noisy. Something's happening. <laughs> Too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. You think someone who has spent 50 years researching the Protheans would be able to read the fucking Prothean language? The message is all broken or at least up, hear but it. I recognize I'm some just... of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped. Oh no. I've got this bug again. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 it happens randomly, but it's whenever I go into. Oh, it fixed itself. Amazing. Sometimes when I go into cover, but then come back out of it. In a weird way, it um, it does that. That's weird. I think we can get it this way. Yeah, it's telling us to go this way.
man, this 50,000 year old lift takes forever. Do get back to the car? Who votes we take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker? Yeah, we're just gonna Good leave idea. it. Firepower will come in handy. I have never actually seen anyone try to do this without the car. That because it would be funny. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in deep. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The oh no! We got shot and that interrupted our conversation. You're ruining our socializing, you bitch. Oh no, there's apparently someone's still there. Yes sir? Oh hi! Barrier in our way. Blast it then. Shit. What is happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do oh, not think no. Saren is behind this. Fuck. Well, I guess we have to go this way. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever it is, we should be careful. Protheans really low. What was the point of having... What's the point of a lift just going to this tiny platform? With this broken light show? You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. So when I first played this game, back in what, 2007, 2008 or whatever, and I got to this point, for some reason, the first thing that popped into my head is, is that Kiefer Sutherland? Is that the guy who plays Jack Bauer putting on a funny voice and being an AI? I don't know why I thought that, but that's what I thought. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the ILOS research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Oh no. 
How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Hmm. A clever ploy. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Wow. Spent the whole game wondering what that was. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. 
the personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the Conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Oh, so Sovereign has already tried to call the Reapers in. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. 
Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Yeah, basically Ilos is the biggest Hail Mary uh, in Mass Effect history. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. All right, this massive, massive war Saren's dump. Got enough of a head start. Grab that done. data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. Oh shit! Sorry, I, didn't, I thought it was there was I'd missed something. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit, not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay, let's get up to this elevator and get back in the car. And on the elevator right up, I'm just gonna nip away and get some water. So I'll be back in a wee second. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. The Protheans did not fail. They gave us a chance. It falls to us to make the most of it, so I suggest we hurry.
And I'm back. Alright, let's get in this damn car. And drop a save, because I don't want to have to go through all that again. Okay, go, 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 go. Gonna make up lost time. Too busy. Get out of my way. Go. No time for you. I'm getting so much money from all these dead guests. I'm amazed I'm able to just pick it up. All right, we're in the trenches now. Hi. Yep, just gonna carry on my way here. Sorry, you want no, no geth. All these, all the geth are gonna die. All these geth, because they can just come in afterwards and ruin our fun. Okay, that's that guy dealt with. Let's go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Racing against the clock, but there isn't a clock. But we've got to go. Holy shit! What is that? There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time Why to did we stop? We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Meanwhile, somewhere else in the galaxy. Oh. Nelly. Oh, it looks like they broke through those shitty patrols that you set up. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Oh no, they've already made it on. But why does... Why are the arms not closing? Oh crap, we gotta go! The conduit's closing! We gotta go! Gonna get a little rough. Oh shit, yeah they are. There's all these colossi that are shooting us. Oh damn, our shields are about to fail. Gotta go! Ah! Whee! Oh, I got an achievement for that. We're riding across space in a car. 
critical failures detected across all oh man it's that statue on the presidium that we saw for the entire game looks a bit beat up but all his wheels are still together well okay this one's hanging a bit funny oh no I think it's suspensions bus shit this is the, the that was the one last jump of, the, of our faithful car damn it somebody needs to put Saren in his place we have to stop Saren man this place looks f fucked oh company oh they they've wasted no time in Waste no time and turn people into fucking robo zombies. This is not a drill. <sighs> Get away. Physical you, status report. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Oh no. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Cool, they put them on the like the second biggest target on the battlefield. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Except the council. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the council chamber. A warrant has been issued Again. for his arrest. Though Citadel security What happened to uh, I don't have the location time. of specific individuals except for the council. Is it for everyone that you asked Come apart on. from the ones you we want to, to know stop about? Saren Fucking before it's hell. too late. Please begin emergency evacuation. All right, everything's going to shit, explosions and fires, but you know Let's just break all traditional safety rules and take this lift up. Even though you're never supposed to take a lift in an emergency. Like a fire emergency. If there's a fire or something, you never take a lift. Oh no! The mindless heat keepers got shot. Oh, now they're closing the arms. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Oh, this looks so much better than the original one version. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, they did actually have it slightly move before I got hit. It's like, maybe we should move. Ooh. They have perched. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. F 
for its day, this sequence was just so fucking cool. Especially when you're looking at that. So we're we're running towards the Reaper. This entire section is fucking great. I love it. Yeah, stasis is a funny one. Oh. <laughs> I never stasis one in the air before. Oh, they still get affected by the singularity afterwards. That's nice. Stop shooting me in the back! Liara, what the fuck is wrong with you? There you go. I used the Medigel for free there for some reason. Oh shit! Oh! No, 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 no. You want to do a carnage? I'll give you a carnage. <laughs> I haven't messed around with a shotgun in ages, actually. Oh man, you are so fucked. Whee! Oh, there was more.
Wow, this sniper's great. Oh, yet another destroyer. Shield back and get some barriers up. Shit, drop ship. Here, have a turret. Here, let's get another turret going. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's take down that drop ship. Have another turret. Oh, what well, I'm Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see what my pistol's like. Cause I haven't used the pistol in ages. This dropship's getting fucked up. Right by with a Reaper's front leg. Oh, guess we took care of the drop ship. Perimeter clear. Regroup. Oops. Look how fast they are heals, and that's just from the just for the upgrade, nothing else. Oh. Cool. Well you want to take the, this destroyer first because it it doesn't heal like the Krogan. Oh we leveled up! Nice. Also, this Krugan's a moron. Wow, we took a while to level up there. Oh man, there's no way we can get to 30. That's a shame. <sighs> sure, let's just go for that. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Liara, be better at first aid. I don't think that stacks with Garrus, but fuck it, you can have Turi Agent. Oh, this shit. There was a Krogan down there. Oh, another destroyer. Hey, come on, run at us. And you're dead. And I am gonna get this guy out of fucking cover. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't you love it when you shoot someone hard enough they do a backflip? Oh. Oh gee, is that a rocket trooper? 
Or what the fuck is that thing? Well, whatever it is, it's about to die. I wonder if the sniper's gonna be better at this. Ow. Whoop. Oh my god, we're under this thing's fucking leg. Oh, I didn't realize how close we ever got to that thing. Should have done more side missions. I did every side mission that was available. There was none left. Literally none. Oh, we're back here. Alright, cool. Uh, we're gonna lift you. But it's weird because they, they did say that you could get to the highest level in a single playthrough. Because in the original, you absolutely could not. I really should be focus firing here. Oh, hey, look, we leveled up. Okay, even with a barrier, that's still a one-hit kill. That's fucking annoying.
All right, can I get a quick save here, please? Thank you. Oh, hi. Okay. So both times I've attacked this one and this one, and that one is fired at me. So I wonder if I just fire at this one first. Both of them fire at me. Okay. I really kind of wish I had training in the assault rifle. So because I'm a vanguard, I'm only got training in pistols and, and shotguns. If I was playing the original Mass Effect, I would never be able to fire an assault rifle with this much accuracy unless it was a bonus skill. And that you can only get from a new game plus. This is a bit of a cheese. I'm technically shooting through cover, but these things can all one hit hit one hit me, and there's not a too decent cover here. Also, what the fuck is shooting me? Oh shit. So just get in here. I'm like right under Sovereign right now. Yeah, Tungsten runs for the win. I think we're almost here. Yeah, here we go. Let's drop a save. And put our points into whatever the fuck. Yeah, but look at the amount of experience to get to the last one. They, they, they didn't tone it down. They did not tone it down at all. So, that is how much experience I have acquired this entire game. 470,000. To get to the last level, which in the original game would be level getting from 58 to 60, I would need 190,000. So that's roughly a third of what I have already got. It's ridiculous how much you have to do. So that, I guess you can only get to 30 in a new game plus.
right, here we go. Let's get a barrier up. Because we got some shoot bangs. Do we not have shoot bangs? Oh yeah, we got shoot bangs. Look what they did to the Presidium, you fucking council chambers, you bastards. This is a symbolic place for the center of government. You're fucking it up. Die. Get out of here. You're making me shoot this tree. I don't want to shoot this tree. Fuck off. Seriously, guys, I'm going to have to ask you politely to start spinning around in circles. All right, what the hell just shot me? What the hell is over here? Oh, just get troopers. Oh, you oh, you took out my shield. Hey, guess what? Brought it back, bitch. So they keep walking towards you slowly, shooting your face. Hey, see what I did here, buddy? Guess what? He took it back on my shields. I'm gonna put another shield on, just to take, take out you. Yeah, you. Who the fuck are you? Get out of my face. Boosh. Well, I am well aware that this guy's still alive. Yep. You're gone. Who's left, huh? You're fucking gone. Shame I haven't been using an assault rifle the entire game. But it is a bit silly how you can just fire it without reloading. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Let's just wait here. Oh no, he's green gobbling again! I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open, the Reapers will return. Or we could just I've not open it. i a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Hmm. Oh, you actually added a glue for that. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me about indoctrination. Mm -hmm. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. Because you're more under his fucking control. The Reapers need organics. Join us and Sovereign will find a place for you too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic, organic and machine, intertwined, a union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard, the evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Yeah, but you look fucking ugly, though. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Yep. If you were expecting a boss fight at the end of this game, you can be sorely disappointed by your own ability to charm them to shoot themselves in the fucking head. Somebody needs to put Saren in his place. He is, he's dead. He just shot himself in the head.
Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. Do both of these things. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. There are multiple versions. Caught that distress you can call, intimidate Commander. him. I'm sitting here if your intimidation is high enough, you can also intimidate him and just shoot his head off. Just unlock the but there, the Citadel. We'll send the there is, if you don't, if you are aren't really willing to intimidate or charming enough, to save the you can actually separate? have a fight. And it, but it's, it's exactly the humanity. same kind of fight that you Saturn had on Vermeer. is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? So this is one of the biggest decisions that you can make in this game. And when you watched me play uh, Mass Effect 2, it was a profile that was created for me in which the council was killed, and I didn't like it. It was annoying that I, it didn't, it because I, I, I didn't, it, I couldn't take my, save, take my save over or whatever it was, so. We're going to save the council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Just need to take care of Sovereign, and uh, we're sorted. Make sure he's dead. Oh, he's pretty dead. He shot himself in the head. He's 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 dead. But despite the fact that we saw him shoot himself in the head, I do love this. Get fucked. He's dead. Yep, he's dead. Bad guy's dead. He's dead, but he's still a fucking problem. Basically, he has turned into the most annoying enemy in the game. Or a really beefy version of it. Get that overload on him. And put a warp on him too. Uh, yep. I could probably do with putting a barrier up. Did that overload not work? Sure, put a damping on him. Uh, can we put stasis on him? 
Wow, stasis works. Oh, for a second, and then it doesn't. Uh, Hilera, throw him. So what happens? I think he might be immune to lift and throw and stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Garrus, I need you to keep sabotaging him because that really works. Is that him? Yep. Oh, crap. We got reinforced. They had reinforcements in this? Oh, shit. Barrier up. Alright, what we got? Shock troopers? Okay. Nope. Garris! Better not just have an endless wave of ads. Garrus, sabotage him. Fuck off. Why did it feel like he was... Oh, he's right there. Okay. Garrus, sabotage. He's... Oh, okay. Liara's been dampened. My squad up. Yep, they're up. That's, that's amazing. Um... Adrenaline burst. Yes. Bring it on. Don't interrupt my fight. Jesus. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. It has a it has a massive blind spot up on above its face. Just stay there. Sabotage again. Would you fucking stop it walking around plus you prick? Oh my god, did Siren get his shields back? That's not fair. Oh my god, Siren's shields are regenning? Gareth's about to go down, I think. Gareth, you need to take out his weapons, please. Well, they always got his shields back down.
That was a fucking Geth sniper. Ah, oh, shit. Distracted by that sniper. Now I'm ready. Yes. Now, for some reason, taking out him just, like, stuns Sovereign for a bit. Its shields are down. Now's our chance. Get it with everything we got. Get fucked! We did it! Yay! We took out the Reaper Sovereign! Hey! Uh, guys, Go. what's that? Fuck. Man, this place got totally wrecked. Okay, that's good. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Okay, he must have got off the citadel and then come back. Oh, he turned into a giant metal leg? Oh no. Thus Shepard dies. Oh no, wait, she was just behind the leg. It's, maybe we could have gone and had a look. I totally made you guys think I was dead. Ambassador, what Captain, you with any difficulty? Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the <laughs> battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard. Your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. 
You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Well, of course, I'm going to pick my mate. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. Mm. <laughs> I spent my life trying to get by myself into this position. Why would you not pick me? It's not like I'm an arsehole. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Also, just want to make a note for later the asari counselor absolutely believed that the reapers are coming because she says you save billions from the reapers sovereign was only a vanguard the reaper fleet is still oh, coming shit the music Hundreds broke of ships maybe thousands and i'm gonna find some way to stop them wow the music totally broke <laughs> I turned the music back on just for moments Shepherd's like this, right. and it's totally Humanity broken. Humanity is me. ready to do its part. <laughs> United with the rest of the council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one, and together, we will drive them back into dark space. Yep. Yeah. Music totally died on that moment. That's like the end of the game and the music died. God, is he even going to play the mu the credit music? Oh. Now there we go. We got it back. <laughs> it's been a bit funny though still. Just in the last like hour, I have noticed that sometimes the conversations were getting cut off very slightly towards the end. I'm wondering if there's like a weird timing thing. There's something there's a sometimes in the games there's like uh uh processes are linked to frame rates. So I like I I I've, I've encountered this problem recently as well. Like I've been uh playing replaying the Assassin's Creed games and in Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, um, some things are actually made a bit more difficult in the game because processors are tied to frame rate and the computers are much more advanced, so the frame rates can be much higher. And as a result, there were some like time trial things that I just couldn't do because the time trial counter was going down faster than the it absolutely should have been. Uh, it's a big old process, but it, if, the, if the game times its ticks with frame rate as opposed to something else, then it's dependent on how your computer performs. Anyway, leaving that aside, let's talk about this game we just played. So we'll talk about the changes they've made from the original one to this one. So uh, no, you have not missed the importance of the 21 people in the ship. Do not worry. We're going to get to that. Just be patient. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, the changes they made, we'll start with the HUD, so the heads-up display, um, the, o the old w original way of uh, Mass Effect showing, by the way, if this is too loud, I can turn it down. There, I'll turn it down a bit. Hopefully it's not turning me down either. Um, <coughs> so, they changed the HUDs. With the, 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 the health and the shields used to be like a weird bar thing on the bottom left with your weapon select. 
Well, you might find out if you stay for the next couple of hours. We'll put it that way. Um, so yeah, the, the HUDs was definitely vastly improved. It's much more in line with the second and third game. Um, in fact, I think it's pretty much just lifted from the second and third game. It worked really well. Uh, so I like what they did with the HUDs uh, very much. The The fact that they made the, the games the games, the guns usable is a marked improvement. <clears throat> so if you're not the um basically each class has certain weapons that are sort of made for them. So like my class was a Vanguard, which is only meant to be used they're only meant to use shotguns and pistols. Um as you saw I was using the sniper and the assault rifle. In the original game <clears throat> Unless you had uh, the skill in your skill tree and points in that skill, you could effectively not use those weapons at all. You'd be carrying them for no fucking reason, but you couldn't use them. So, like, if you unless you had the sk the the sniper skill and at least one point in it, you couldn't even use the scope of the sniper rifle and the the bloom, like the 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 reticle bloom for it was huge it would take up about like half the screen it was ridiculous and the assault rifle you'd fire like two rounds and then your you your shots would be going wide like absolutely crazy um so classes that i think the only class that could actually have the assault rifle training i believe is a soldier every other class uh does not have assault rifle training so they could never use it um Likewise, the only uh, the only two classes that have uh, sniper training are infiltrator and soldier. So those are the only ones that can actually use that. Um, so every other class is pretty much limited to pistols, and the shotguns I feel in the original game were pretty useless. I never enjoyed them. They seem to have made changes to them in this, and I do like what they've done. The shotguns actually felt decent, and considering that shotguns I've never I I rarely ever used in the entire trilogy, I'm kind of uh, hyped to use them going forward because two and three the weapons are totally the whole combat system is totally different from this game this game is very different um so i'm i'm i'm, I'm curious to see how the shotguns are going to behave going forward because the vanguard oh the fact, the fact this class is totally different going forward <laughs> and i am not looking forward to it some aspects and i am looking forward to others um Let's see. So the fact they made the weapons usable, I am all for that. What I didn't expect them to do, that they did, was they, they've they put different weapon types in. So before, all the assault rifles were exactly the same, all the pistols were exactly the same, all the snipers were exactly the same. It's just the only thing that changed was its stat. What they did, without telling anyone, is that they've given weapon like there was an assault rifle that I got the thunder which acted like a DMR so it was a semi-automatic rifle so you had to keep on pulling the trigger and it would fire single shots that would do higher damage Um, there was a burst fire pistol there was a burst fire rifle there was one that was like a three shot burst and one was a five shot burst Um, there was a sniper rifle that was rapid fire there was a sniper rifle that was a burst fire Um. That was very interesting. I appreciate that they did that. But what I don't appreciate is they didn't tell you in any way on the weapon description they could absolutely have done with saying that it it was uh, a semi-automatic or a burst fire or something. Because that would have... Um, if, you, if you just equipped it and just gone into a battle blind, you would have really been taken off guard. It's also really difficult to compare weapons that way. They changed all the weapon stats... Like, instead of being damage per shot, it's damage per second, which I guess is fairer, but unless you know how the weapon operates, that doesn't really help too much. Also, they changed the heat sink thing, because it was like shot... It used to be shots until overheat, but now it's... It was like heat capacity in seconds, and it didn't make any sense because to me, because I, I used guns that had a higher stat in that and it they'd overheat quicker and then a lower stat and it would overheat slower. So I don't really know how that works. I could probably look into it a bit more. Um, 
powers, uh, no real change in the powers. Um, they were pretty much exactly how they were in the original game, except for um, immunity. So immunity was a bullshit power in the first game, especially on a Krogan. So immunity originally was like for about 45 seconds or something, you would be immune to like 90% of physical damage. So if you had like a Krogan, so you'd be firing your, your, your gun at a Krogan, take forever to take his shields down, his shields would come down. Um, and then it would start losing health. Um, then he'd trigger his shield boost ability and get most of his shields back. So you've got to take the shields off again. Then you start whittling away at his health. And then his health gets down to almost zero. And then the Krogans, when they, their health is almost zero, they have this weird ability where they suddenly start rapidly regenerating their health. So then you're trying to fight the regen of his health. But then they trigger their immunity. And then boom. The, their health is going back up and you can't stop it because they're immune to 90% of the damage. And then it gets to the point where uh, they're fully healed and they still have some immunity. And hey, the timer on their uh, shield boost has come back so they are fully re uh, regen their shields again. So then you've basically killed this thing twice and it's still alive and it's still back at full health and you've still got to keep on taking it down. And guess what? This enemy has a shotgun and it will charge you and if it punches you in this difficulty, it one hit kill. So the Krogans were utter bullshit in the first game. They have rebalanced the combat a bit in terms of like, uh, I think I think the enemies in this didn't have as much health as they did in the original Insanity difficulty. And I do appreciate that. I don't know what's happened to the music. It's gone again. I thought that song... Um, carried across the entire credits i've not been paying attention it might be that they've extended the credits and the song's just not long enough that would uh make sense i'll just put the game volume back up cool um it didn't so even though i played it on the hardest difficulty it didn't feel as much of a slog as it did the first time i did the first time i did it was an absolute bitch so this i feel like they've done a good job in that um as for the looks, the, everything looks a hell of a lot better. I would not say it looks great. Then it still looks like an old game, um, which is fine because it is an old game. Um, do I think the game could have done with a remake? I think it would have. It could have done done better with a remake, but I think it would they would have changed a lot and probably taken out some of the things that people loved. So. I think they did the best. I think they made the best decision. Actually, the game looks a lot better, um, but with the sort of least amount of work that they could do. I think there are still there are still opportunities that they could have exploited. For instance, uh, an exploration tracker on the map, which is in the next, the second and third game. They didn't add it in this, and I don't know why. Uh, they put they raised the item limit in the inventory, but they didn't get rid of it. Don't know why. Um, they could have made the um, the selecting. They added this uh, selling, uh, marking items as junk and then selling them on mass. But which is great. But what they didn't do was a tell them people that they've really how to do it, and b they've made the actual button to do it almost impossible to see unless you know what you're looking for. Um, also, there's a few bugs that were in the original game. That they didn't fix. They changed the Thresher Moth fight. I actually thought the Thresher Moths are totally different. And I love it. Actually that's a, that's a really big uh, in change. The changes that they did to the Mako. Um, I like what they did with the shields. I don't like what they did with the, uh, the, the jet at the back. It helped out somewhat. It was only in certain situations. But for the most part it wasn't really powerful enough to, make, to help. And also the vertical jump jets were never useful anyway. Um... The barren planets that you're driving around did look a bit nicer, but they're still barren planets. Um, so, but I don't think they were really going to change that in Mass Effect, unless you, that's it's a, it's a large chunk of the game. You'd have to remake the game, so it's like that. If they were doing a remake, that would be in it. But they didn't do a remake; they did a, re, a remaster essentially. Um, I 
Also, changing the XP for uh, the Baco thing is really nice. Um, okay, so how do I get back to the main launcher? Oh, exit to launcher. Um, actually, let's have a look at the achievements. Let's see what achievements we got. Complete the game in any difficulty. He unlocks assault rifle, shotgun, sniper talents for all subsequent us in the profile. Uh, did Pharos, Ian Prime, Vermeer, Novaria. Use lift 25 times, throw, warp, and singularity, and barrier. We didn't use stasis because I don't really like stasis. Damping field, and now AI hacking never really took Talia that much. And neural shock. Uh, what did we get here? Complete Ilos. Um, find all uh, codex entries. Meh. Complete the majority of the game. Land on Uncharted World. Land on 4. Land on 8. Complete 5 missions with each of your squad members. I did all that. 75% um, with Paragon. Become a Spectre. Charm or Intimidate in a possible situation. Basically save Rex. Um, find to Sony. That's the DLC. Well, that bothers me. <laughs> so, I don't know why that is. There's only one, because I didn't, I started it in Insanity and I never changed it. I never changed it. Um, I think the only reason why I, uh, I'll have to check it. I'll have to check it. But I think it might be because of Dickhead Shepherd. <laughs> so, I don't know if you saw before, but the the item shop is broken. So that the Spectre weapons that you're supposed to have access to towards the late game weren't showing up. But a workaround was to uh, load a save from before you become a Spectre, become a Spectre, and then go to the shop and unlock, and then come out of that, uh, load out of that back into your original save file, and then go revisit the shop again because for some reason that carries across careers. I th however, that. Um, character I made for that I did on casual so I think that is also somehow carried over um, that is a bit bullshit to be honest oh well I don't care much <laughs> exit to launcher Boom. Alright, I may have to tweak some audio settings before we get into it. But man, that's not just one, but two achievements are affected by that. Because it says to play on Insanity from the beginning to the end of from the beginning of one right through to the end of three. Mm-hmm. I might have to look up stuff like that. I've got some saves. I don't know if, if that will help. Anyway. We're moving on. We're in a different game. Oh. I remember this loading screen. Yes! Options. Sounds. Okay. Sound effect volume down to... 40... Dialogue's good. Music we'll put down to like 15%. Um, how was the, um... <laughs> yeah, don't tempt me. I was considering playing, uh, the, uh, the Renegade character, the one out, Dickhead Shepherd. I, like, actually playing that full, like, a full playthrough of that. Um... That is really annoying. 
more I think about it, the more annoyed I'm getting. Uh, I was going to say, how wa how was the volume on the music in the last one? Was it okay? Was it too loud or too quiet? Because um, it sounds fine to me, but I'm wearing headphones, so. Cool. Nothing was like insanely loud. I know that the, the assault rifle in the last game was fucking loud. Cool. Alright, let's check graphic settings. It should all be fine. Everything is set to full because it's amazing. Okay, well, if the guns are still too loud in this one, um, I'll turn it down a bit. Um, I don't, we don't have HDR because it's a basic monitor. Controls. Eh, I can fiddle with that later. Gameplay. Let's just set this by default. Auto level up, subtitles on. Let's compare usage. I'll leave that on. I, the last one I had it off, but. New game, import Mass Effect 1 character. Missy Shepard. Level 57. Why is this red? Okay. Here we go. Alright, we're. Alright, they're just setting this up straight away. So, insanity. Enemies are tenacious, react quickly, and have upgraded weapons and use their powers mercilessly. Okay. Boom. Nope. Dame. Rank. 57. Ha! <laughs> okay. We had enough XP to get to level 57, essentially. Vanguard. We were... We followed the Paragon path. Rex survived the mission. Kidnalenko was killed. Council was saved. And Anderson was put on the council. Here we go. I haven't like, seen anything about uh, how what they've done to this game. Ooh. Ah. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth! We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Martin Sheen! One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the galactic community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity membership in the prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines, eradicate all organic uh, civilization every 50,000 years have returned. I cannot read that fucking fast! <laughs> okay. So we're basically patrolling and looking for Geth, even though the Geth aren't the real problem. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. 
Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Presley, no! Presley, no! <gasps> Kinetic barriers down! Random person, no! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! No, not you, person! Ah! Oh, Liara, hey! Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Let's hope so. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard. Liara, go. Now. Aye, aye. Everybody in. Go, go, go. Ship's getting fucked up. To be honest, they're completely open. They should be. They should. They're perfectly open. They'd be absolutely destroyed right now. Right. And before I do anything, this music is surprisingly quiet. So I went up a bit more, and I'm gonna turn the dialogue down to like 80. Hello? We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy. Almost the crew evacuated. Right, so it's just Joker left. Okay. Oh, baby, hold together. Hold together. It's so weird, like, being in a familiar surrounding that's totally changed and destroyed like this. Well, thank God the vacuum of space got rid of all the dead, pesky dead bodies that were of our friends that we've come, on, Joker. come to know over the we last have to game. Get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Give it up. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. Careful with the uh it, it is very dead space, isn't it? Yeah, get, this guy's got brittle bone disease by the way, if you didn't know. Commander! Shepard! Do it!
What a way to start a game. Everything that you had done in the first game, they just fucking destroy. They even kill your character. Oh, this is different. Summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Ah, uh, no, we don't need to summarize it. Because we just lived it, baby. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. 